The Technical University of Sofia held a culture, education and science forum with the aim of presenting and further spreading the results of the research, trainings and discussions carried out during the Ethico and Extras projects within the European University of Technology EUT+. The urgent need of coping with the complex problems of climate, the environmental challenges and the issues of technological development calls for new requirements for the education of the 21st century. A completely new approach in education is needed and the participants in the discussion confirmed that they do believe that teaching ethics and ecology in technical universities will provide future generations with the right range of skills and competencies for them to cope with any matters related to climate change and resource depletion through innovations and technological development based on the care for humanity and the welfare of mankind. And one aspect of climate change is to do with technological evolution and technological development. So you could say that the impact that humans are having on the planet today due to and caused by the technologies that we have developed. So when we look to the future and we look to questions of climate change and sustainability, we need to have other forms of technology. Other forms of technology which are responsible, ethically responsible, but also ecologically uh, sustainable and responsible. What is ethico? Ethics, within this context, is to be interpreted as a form of practice, individual set of methods with collective consequences, the ethical attitude to a situation and the actions performed by a group of people that steps forward in case of emergency. The academic community is required to develop a program, implement it and guarantee that the issue of ethics and ecology is incorporated in scientific research and in all basic forms of university education. This project is actually aiming to address ethics and ecology in technical education. In this project I was working with Bill and Marin of TU Sofia and we have compiled a lot of ideas from each partner from our experiences and different activities to create a code of engagement for stakeholders as well as an inclusivity code. We will keep working on ethics and ecology within the scope of the ECT lab, which is European Cultural Laboratory, and uh, we will develop more ideas for the future within EUT Plus and all of this initiative. On that, the cooperation has been uh, amazing uh, among the partners. We're all happy with it. Uh, we're collaborating, and, and I think uh, one of the best values of these projects is the network of people. Personally speaking, they're wonderful people. Professionally as well, I think that we complement each other very well. So from different universities, different backgrounds, and different disciplines, we are gathering all the knowledge together, and we're actually creating something that is worth showing and worth doing. And that's kind of one of the great values of the ECT Lab as kind of the house of the project and, and it's one of the great things about the uh, of the European University of Technology is allowing these spaces these safe spaces to work on these critical aspects of sustainability and ethics and ecology and all of that. The participants discussed that in order for this to happen tutors and students have to understand that the matters of ecology and the issue of ethics come together as a whole and that there is a strong overlap of ethics ecology and technology. The project was to develop ecological ethics for technological education. What we're arguing for within the ethical project is a change in the way that we teach technological education, but a greater focus on complex ecological issues, irrespective of the discipline. So one would have to address ecological ethics, whether they're studying mathematics or whether they're studying history. And that this aims to produce a generation of young people who are better equipped to analyze the complexity of ecological problems. During the second day of the Science Forum, EUT Plus Ideas Institute Think Tank organized and held a meeting with an expert panel under the title Technology, Ecology and Sustainability. The meeting was attended by representatives of governmental and local authorities, business and the general public who brought their multisexual and multidisciplinary backgrounds to the discussion of what it means to be human in the context of complex socio-technical systems and how one can take care of oneself, the others and the planet. Humanity today faces challenges of unprecedented scale, such as climate change, resource depletion, growing inequality and the social consequences of the digital era. What we need is to find working solutions that are to change our ways of thinking and attitudes to the world we live in. Undoubtedly, 
science and education play leading roles in these processes. A global world requires global solutions. It is not by chance that EUT Plus combines all sorts of ideas and opportunities and strives for establishing common values and distinctive identity. The future of the ethical projects, there is um, two aspects to it. One is the results of the project itself is a module for staff development. So it's a module which staff will take to develop their own capacity to teach ethics and ecology in technological education. And the second aspect of that is that in the next phase of the European University of Technology, in uh, one of the big working groups around digital transition and green transition, some of the results of the ethical project are now embedded within the structure of the new university. That involves um, having modules for students on ethics and ecology. In our modern, fast-developing technological world, in addition to the search for multivariate practical solutions, it is of extreme importance to apply ethical and ecological approaches for the benefit not only of the individual, but also of mankind as a whole.